Hi everyone, um, it's me Gem again from Pixel Hop and this is the fourth and final episode of this four part series on how to build a shop, um, an e-commerce shop with Strappy 4, Nux 3 and Snipcart. So this episode is just going to be tying up Snipcart. Um, when you add products it, um, making it so it actually adds them to the basket and then adding the total amount of the basket here and it will show up and then just the whole checkout page and yeah um, if you haven't got a Snipcart account just go ahead and create one it's pretty easy at snipcart.com and then we get started. First of all, what we need to do is add in the scripts and style sheets of Snipcart so it comes out into our header. So we do that in the Nux config. Make that slightly bigger, which I didn't do last time. Apologies, I was feeling quite rusty with the last video um, after the Christmas break. So I've got these scripts style sheets here so you're just gonna copy them they'll be on the blog post so if you need to save you like just copy and all that and um, you can just get from there if you like so let's just restart our front end great next up what we need to do is create a div that's hidden into our layout. Um, and then we just need to have an API, API key on that. So it knows which account, which Snipcart account we're using. So to get the API key, I'll be changing mine after this video, just for security reasons, obviously. But to get the API key, just click at the top here, this, side cart comes up out and then API keys so just get the API key and then we want our layout uh, layout default and we just add it underneath this slot here so it's going to be hidden. We need to add an ID of snip cart. So it knows to look at snip cart. And then the data API key. And then you just simply paste your API key in there. So it's quite simple. So next we need to create a button. Um, and we just need, on that button, we need to add a class called um, snip cut add item so this is going to be on the product teaser page um, the docs are pretty good for snip cut so they're, they're here I'll add a link into the notes but yeah you can do add a class snip cut add item then that will tell snip cut to add the item to um, the cart and then we just need to add in like link it up with the price, the image and description, link and so on. So if we just open up our products page, so pages product ID, and then on this add to basket button, that's where we want to add like the class and so on. Oops, always do that. So snip cart add item and then we just want to tell it like the id so this will be product dot data dot id next we want to add in the price so these are all dynamic so Price, product, and 
and then I'm just going to duplicate these and then it's going to be description uh, actually after data we need attributes so now we want to do description Then we want name, which is going to be the title. Right, next we need to get the image URL. For this, we're going to make a computed property and build up the URL because the URL that you get back from Strapi is relative, not absolute. So we just need to create a computed property. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put it image URL. Um, that's our dog barking in the background. Ajax. I don't know if you can guess why we called him Ajax, but um, let's just say we do Ajax fetch. So if you know, you know. <laughs> so let's do an if, so if there isn't a product, we'll just return null. He's being fed at the minute, so he's excited. That's why he's barking. So if there isn't a product, then we'll um, return null. But if there is a product, And we just start building out the URL. So you get the API URL from the config, and then We need to change this to image URL. Next, we want to get the sort the quantity out so you can adjust the quantity. Um, so before we would have used the options API and it would have been um, like data and then return and then the quantity. Uh, but now in this situation, we're using the new composition API and it means that the code it's just uh, a lot fewer lines to write, basically. So we, we've already done this. I think we potentially did that last time. Or this is all we need. So it's quantity equals ref, and then we're setting the default to one. So by default, we have one quantity. So So yeah, that should be it for that. Let's go and check it out. Oh, attributes. That should have attributes. Oh, my mistake, sorry. This should be data dot attributes. 
Oh, so you can add that to basket. In a minute, we'll see this go up. So let's go and do that now. So if we go to our cart info component, so components, cart info, what we want to do, add in a span with a class called snip cart total price. And on the button, actually, on the parent, we need to add snip cart checkout. Let's add some styling. So let's add the basket again. potentially an issue with this add to basket button oh yeah so the problem is the price needs to be uppercase so let's go try that yes so we want to stop this as well so we're going to make the z index of the cart higher so we go so we're going to do this in app.view Snip cart modal underscore 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 container z index hundred. Ta da! Cool. So we go back, add another one, open out, change quantity, go back, add a few more. Cool. Yeah. Delete. Great, so that is all working now. So this is the checkout. And this is the checkout. And obviously in Snipcart, we're on test at the minute. So oops, let's keep it to test. Um, but yes, to go live, you'd have to enter like credit card and all of that. But you can see on the dashboard, you can see like how many orders and sales. There's quite a lot of information you can get. It's quite powerful. We're just really touching on the very basics here. So you can like work your way through all of these tutorials as well. Um, that sort of help you through it. But yeah, this is just the very basics that we're getting started with. Oh yeah, so we won't actually be able to fully test it. We could if we ran Ngrok, but for the sake of this, we're, there's no point really. Um, reason that is because Snipcart looks at the live site for the prices to validate that the prices are correct and there's no like dodgy stuff going on. And obviously I'm running this site locally, so it's not able to do that. Could test it and run Ngrok and then that would be fine. But yeah, so that's Pick a Sit Quick, all built out and ready to ready for people to buy some candles. Just wanted to say thank you. If you made it this far, then wow. <laughs> can't, I can't believe it. Um, and if there's any questions or anything else that you'd like me to do, uh, potentially thought a deployment one would be good with how we posted it and deployed it um but we're going to leave it at this for now unless that's sort of requested but yeah thank you for watching and let us know which candle either which candle you choose out of our, our ones or what other candle names um you'd come up with but thank you bye